it's your favorite person, Dr. Blessing and Tamu, just wanting to share this beautiful day with you. It actually rained here in the morning and it was all dark and gloomy. But after the rain, there's some sunshine. So we can actually expect some sunshine at the end of the COVID-19 saga. Like the saying goes, after the rain comes sunshine. Another quick tip to deal with COVID-19 I left out in my earlier video is try to enrich and build your immune system by taking nutritional supplements and some multivitamins, you know, because of the way we process our foods here in Nigeria. We end up destroying some micronutrients, some very important micronutrients and some vitamins. So for us to make up for this, we need to take some supplements if you can afford it. Otherwise, there are so many vitamin rich foods there, the fruits, the vegetables, and then there are also some fruits that are rich in antioxidants like um, blackcurrant, like the cabbage, the broccoli. So let's enrich our system and take as much of these fruits as possible. So now I'm going to, talk, going to be talking about a subject I'm excited, that's why. I'm going to be talking about a subject that I know will interest almost everybody out there. Weight loss. Yes, you heard me right, weight loss. But I'm going to focus some more on postpartum weight loss. That's weight loss after delivery and also involution of the uterus after delivery. Getting your stomach back flat as it was before you, so you got pregnant. And now I hear some gentleman listen to me and say, no, this does not concern me. Hold on, hold on, it does concern you. That's because most of the tips I'm going to be sharing here today are general tips that anyone could apply to keep their, their weight in check or to lose some extra weight. Just about one or two tips that are going to be specifically to women who have just put to bed. So hang in there, take this ride with us, enjoy and learn. So how did I achieve postpartum uh, weight loss? For the records, you know, I had my last baby who is now 10 months old, 10 years after the second to the last. And you know, one of my biggest worries was how do I shed this extra weight? I mean, I'm so used to being like this, trim and all of this. So after I put to bed, how am I going to deal with the weight? Lo and behold, I did some of these things I'm going to share with you. And one month after delivery, one month postpartum, I was back in shape and my tummy had gone, oof like you see uh, almost completely fat and i got uh, did i say fat completely trimmed and you know everybody was asking me what did you do what miracle did you perform please tell us what secret i'm going to share that secret here with you today you know so the very first thing i'm going to tell you the very first secret to postpartum weight loss i'm going to be sharing with you is breastfeeding yeah i can hear you it's, it's asking me if that is a secret at all yes it is because many modern day mothers they do not want to breastfeed their babies or they don't want to breastfeed for a long period because they're thinking, oh, my breast is going to go south and they don't want that to happen. Well, it's possible your breast will go south, but there are so many benefits of breastfeeding, both to the mother and the child, that you can't afford to give that up for anything on earth. Let's share some of the benefits with you. First of all, breast milk is the most rich nutrient on food for your baby. It contains all of the nutrients that your baby needs to grow healthy. And for me, going everywhere with my breast is much easier than going everywhere with feeding bottles, water flasks, and all of that and all of that. So I prefer breastfeeding. So exclusive breastfeeding for six months, highly recommended. And it's going to help you check that weight and it's going to help you achieve that flat stomach. When you breastfeed the baby, you notice that you feel some cramps in your stomach. That's your uterus contracting right there. Because breastfeeding releases the hormone of cytosine that helps your stomach, your uterus to contract and helps your stomach to get back to shape. Aside that, breastfeeding your baby builds up their immune system. And some people have even said that it also makes them more intelligent, increases their IQ. So the immune system of your baby is going to be much stronger. The baby will be healthier, less risk of skin diseases and other diseases, including sudden infant death syndrome you're going to have less of that when you breastfeed your baby so i mean why won't you breastfeed your baby and for you the mother besides you know the weight loss and uh, reducing the size of your stomach breastfeeding is also beneficial for you if you breastfeed your baby you stand a lesser chance of suffering from um, ovarian cancer breast cancer type 2 diabetes and also postpartum stress so i mean depression rather why wouldn't you breastfeed your baby it was good for me it worked and this baby oh my god he is a sucker he sucks like all the time sucking almost you know all day long all night long well i 
was happy and I was giving him the, the sock because I knew he was helping me lose weight. That was one of the things I did. What's the second thing I advise you to do that I did? Well, after delivery, I ate fiber-rich foods. Fiber-rich foods are very good because they make you feel full for a longer period by delaying or reducing the rate of uh, digestion. And also, they lead to the release of um, more uh, hormones that make you feel full, like uh, cholecystokinin, and then they reduce the release of hunger hormones. So please eat a lot of fiber-rich foods, like the wheat, like the oats, wheat. Be careful, though, for those who are gluten intolerant, please don't take wheat. For me, it was the oat flakes. I took a lot of, um, there's this oat flakes, not the traditional oats uh, porridge, but oats for made in flakes, uh, complex form. So you just add your milk and you drink. I took a lot of that. It keeps me full for a long period of time. Now, I could, I was not too keen on consuming a lot of carbohydrates because I was doing something else. Now, somebody introduced me to something that I took that made up for a lot of the additional needs of my baby and ensured that my breast milk was as rich as it needed to be for my baby to be healthy. That was this. Yeah, pregnant care. We are all used to pregnant care, but this is a special one, pregnant care breastfeeding. Pregnant care breastfeeding <coughs> is very good because it provides all of the nutritional needs you need whilst breastfeeding. It helps you stay healthy, baby stay healthy. So whilst I was pregnant, I was taking pregnant care plus. But mainly I put to bed, Thank God for this colleague who told me about the wife taking pregnant and breastfeeding. I'm like, okay, there's a particular pregnant care for breastfeeding mothers. He said yes. And then I took that and it's been fantastic, you know. It provides for nutrients. I don't have to worry about taking extra calories for my baby. I, in fact, that helped me to cut down on my calorie intake. And I had people around me complaining, don't you know you're breastfeeding? You should eat more. You should eat more. I didn't bother because I knew I was taking some supplements. So that's the second thing I did. Okay, another thing I did was water therapy. I even started this one before delivery. Most of the healthy habits I do, I started them before delivery. And so I just continued. And for the water therapy, I'll take you back a little bit. Now, after I had my second to the last child, you know, I really put on a lot of weight and my tummy was protruded and I didn't like it. I really wanted to lose this weight. So I decided to start running, jogging. So every morning after dropping the kids off in school, I will go to the stadium and I will run the standard st size stadium 10 times the main goal of the stadium. That's about 5,000 meters or so. And after about a month, I, I began to increase gradually to 11 times round, 12 times. And I did this for quite a long time. After the running, I will do some aerobics. And yeah, I must have lost some cages, some calories, but my tummy remained protruded. I'm not saying exercise cannot tone your tummy. All I'm saying, it depends on how you do it. I didn't have any trainer. I did it however I thought I would, and I didn't get good results. So whilst I was at home one day, my mom, my mom came around, and this friend of hers came visiting. And when she came, she looked at my mom, and she said, ah, bless him, your mommy's tummy is big. You can help her reduce the size of her tummy. Look at me, I have a flat tummy, and we are about eight minutes. I'm like, okay, auntie, what should I do? And she says, it's simple, water, water therapy. Now, I think I, I, I shared this with you. When I got married during my wedding, the gift this friend of my mom's gave to me is a book. Actually, this book, titled Water. It says, you're not sick, you're thirsty. Yeah, she gave me that book, and I read some of it, but not all of it. And yeah, she was after, you know, so many years still talking water. And I thought, oh, maybe I should listen to her. So I tried to get my mom on the water therapy. What's the water therapy? Simply taking water 30 minutes before your meal, either 30 minutes before your meal or two hours after your meal, never whilst you're eating, you know. So I got my mother started on, that, started on that and I also tried to start. In fact, when she told me, I was like, isn't that torture? You're going to eat your meal from start to finish without taking water. And initially it was difficult for me, but after a while I got used to it, my body adjusted to it and so, it's, it's, it's normal for me now. I can't take water whilst eating. I have to take water 30 minutes before or two hours after. And in between the meals, if I need to take any liquid, I'd rather take some hot tea, not chocolate tea. Most times, uh, green tea or some other kind of tea. Yeah, and there are also so many other benefits of water. For instance, uh, water helps to kickstart uh, metabolism. You know, when you take cold water first thing in the morning, now there's an argument of whether it works, whether it helps in any way. I think it helps because when you take cold water early in the morning, 
not ice cold water, just room te temperature water. Uh, there will be thermogenesis. Uh, this is a process whereby the body tries to, you know, heat up that water you took into the body temperature to the uh, the required body temperature. And in the course of doing that, some calories are burnt, and also metabolism is kickstarted by taking water, you know. And then in the process of this, some calories are lost. So that's it. I take water first thing in the morning and stay as hydrated as is possible. Our body is 60 to 70 percent water. We need a lot of water, you know, for cleansing of our system, supplying nutrients to the parts of our body, and all of that. And besides, when you're dehydrated, you're going to have memory deficits. Memory deficits, you're going to have concentration, um, uh, attention deficits. So it's good to stay hydrated. Take as much water as your body needs, as much water as you can manage. I mean, we can't overemphasize this one. And so I take a lot of water, and that's one thing I did. Now, no added sugars. Some people are used to adding so much sugar to their meals. Our food already contains so much sugar, so no added sugar. Can you believe all of this um, fiber-rich foods are usually test like bran, test nice. I took them without adding sugar. Yes, to my oat flakes, to my tea. In fact, I said this also years before I actually got pregnant and put to bed. I don't add sugar to my food. Most of my students are taken without sugar. So no added sugar. When you add sugar to your meals, you're going to be adding calories and you're going to put on weight. So no added sugar to your meals. What else did I do? Okay. I, there are two substances, two um, plant-based substances, uh, turmeric and cinnamon. I take them as tea. In fact, I, I take turmeric and cinnamon tea. Just add dry turmeric and cinnamon tea into boiling water and then drain and take. If you have already prepared ones and you buy that, I guess that would be good for you too. That's another thing I did. One other tip now is working with your body. Now, if you understand how our body works, it helps us work with our body and achieve quick, faster results. Now, within the first six weeks postpartum, the body will be working itself to, you know, contract your uterus, involution of the uterus is called, and so whatever you do to help your body within that period of time will work faster for you. So all of the tying of the tummy, like our parents used to do in those days, they take a wrapper, fold into four, and tie their tummy real tight, and all of the wearing of girdles, body shapers, waist trainers, if you do this within the first six weeks after delivery, you're going to get better results. First, second, third pregnancy, I didn't bother about those ones. But this pregnancy, this uh, after this delivery, I did that and it really worked for me. Within the first weeks, I kept tying my money, my stomach, wearing the girdles, uh, the waist trainers, the body shapers, and it really worked for me. So I, 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 I got back into shape really quick and faster. Okay, so now protein rich foods are also good for us. Yes, you heard me right foods rich in protein because the body expends more energy to break down protein rich foods so well and they also release um uh, they stop they inhibit the release of hunger hormones <coughs> excuse me so when you take protein rich foods yeah it, it's going to help you lose weight uh, reduce your weight uh, postpartum what else can you do to keep your weight in check postpartum what you stock up on is going to tell directly on your weight because you're going to eat what you have so stock up on Healthy snacks, <laughs> healthy snacks like nuts. I like nuts a lot. Cashew nuts, almond nuts, walnuts, ground nuts, all of those yogurts, you know, in moderate amounts. Stock up on that. <clears throat> healthy fruits, fresh fruit drinks, vegetables, fruits. When you stock up on those and you eat those, when you're hungry, you, you snack on those. It's better than uh, other fast food. And that's the next point we're going to get to right there. No fast food, avoid highly processed foods like canned and tinned foods, like fast foods, uh, flour filled foods. Avoid those because they're going to make you add more weight. Okay, what else can you do to keep your weight in check? Exercise. Now, before I get uh, further with this, I need to call your attention to the fact that what you do postpartum depends on how your pregnancy went, your mode of delivery, and your present health status. If you give birth through caesarean session, CS for instance, you can't be talking exercise until at least six weeks post delivery. And in fact, if doctor is going to give you, or doctor has to give you the okay for when to start exercising. Same thing with tying your stomach. 
you had a cerebral section, please don't go tying your stomach. You will run into problems until the wound from the surgery is completely healed. And until your doctor tells you it's okay to wear your body shapers and tie, don't if you give birth through CS. Also, if you had a problem pregnancy or post delivery, your health is not so good. Your health comes first. So you can only do all of these things I did if you had, you know, uh, a, a normal delivery and if you're really very strong after your delivery. Thanks to God, uh, I was really strong after delivery. I had normal delivery, no episiotomy, and so I was strong enough to do all of these things. So exercise will definitely make you lose weight. Simple aerobic exercises, taking a walk with your baby uh, around the house, maybe pushing baby in a stroller or whatever, that will help you lose weight and it's also highly required. So you can do those and you'll be the better for it. Now, with all of these tips, I imagine that I've gotten you, you know, started. Did I leave out no fizzy drinks? No fizzy drinks. I usually don't take fizzy drinks because they're really high in sugars and what would they are bad for the health? Studies show that uh, taking fizzy drinks, maybe two bottles a day or one bottle a day, increases your risk for pancreatic cancer and also prostate cancer and all, so many other sicknesses and diseases. So avoid fizzy drinks. Take water. Take healthy drinks not fizzy drinks, not carbonated drinks, you know, and even the uh, low sugar drinks also have their own risk, so please avoid those. And no alcohol, did I, I almost forget that. Alcohol provides extra calories, no nutrition, and besides that, there are several, you know, uh, uh, you know, there are several reasons why you shouldn't take alcohol, and I'll try to do a video about that only, but please, no alcohol, especially for breastfeeding mothers, because the content all content will seep into the breast milk and be consumed by your baby. And of course, you know this is not healthy. So much for today. Um, get a massage. Get someone to give you a massage. That will help you be healthy, feel happy and stronger. And the happier and stronger you are, I think, the better for you because you'll be able to now apply all of these other tips. For me, it was my husband that gave me a massage every day for about the first one or two weeks after delivery. And it really, really did help me. So get someone to massage you. And try to sleep well. Try to sleep well, you know. Um, for me, I really couldn't get so much sleep. But each time the baby sleeps, try to sleep as well. That will help keep you healthier, will help you lose weight. Uh, don't starve yourself of sleep, okay? And then instead of skipping your meals, you can do smaller portions of meal, meals more frequently than instead of skipping your meals or taking really large portions of meals this will help you lose weight as well so much for today please leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about this video let me know if you learned anything from this video and uh, ask questions i'm going to come back to them and answer them and please don't forget to subscribe yes please click on the subscribe button also enable notifications so that you can get notified on our future videos i really want to hear from you please slide into my dm and leave me a message or you can check me out on instagram at the psychologist ng on facebook at the psychologist ng and leave your comments and your messages there has been a fantastic time out here with you uh until i see you again next week have a beautiful day out there and I love you all. See you next week. Bye.